and these are some important topics for logical reasoning that you should be covering first before taking your your preparation to the next level now speaking of logical reasoning syllabus i have mentioned linear arrangement circular arrangement distributions comparisons scheduling binary logic team selections cubes and cuboids number based lr and venn diagrams to name a few of the topics you can prepare this entire topics and you can consider this as your syllabus now <clears throat> what approach you should follow while while preparing for logical reasoning now logical reasoning has only two like the, the entire approach of logical reasoning can be covered in two points first is understand the language logical reasoning it is very important to understand the language okay uh just say for example if i say if i say that uh, either a or b is selected if i say it's just an example either a or b is selected now uh logical reasoning is a game of possibilities if i if i ask you how many cases are possible for this particular statement most of you will think of two possible cases the first one be only a is selected and second one being only b is selected most of you zero down to these two possibilities but actually there is this third possibility as well wherein both a and b can be selected even this is a possibility uh you can also confirm this uh, by some knowledge of set theory if you guys do remember uh, there was something like this uh this or was related to union let this be a let this be b and guys what was a union b a union b was this entire region na so only a region was selected only b region was selected and both a and b is also part of a union b hence so these are this is just an example how language can confuse you in logical reasoning in logical reasoning you need to understand the language uh, when i say language what i mean you need to understand how many possibilities can be derived from that particular language it's a game of possibilities you cannot afford to miss any possibilities yes again why because suppose this is the first possibility and it further is divided into two possibilities and again you have two two possibilities each from both of them and assume that this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong and this is the correct answer now just imagine what if you have missed this possibility you would have never got an answer so missing a possibility is something that should not that's a crime in logical reasoning to be very frank you should not afford you cannot afford to miss any possibility so understanding the language plays a very important role in logical reasoning okay the language is tricky always you need to understand what it is trying to convey the second thing is once you gain mastery over this the second thing you need to take care of is figure out the order of the clues there are two aspects first understand the language and second figure out the order now clues are suppose this is a standard set of clues theek okay? hai now i have already said that lr is a game of possibilities lr is solved in pictures now if if these clues are straight forward used c1 followed by c2 followed by c3 you create a picture you put in c1 you put in c2 you put in c3 you put in c4 you put in c5 and you put in c6 okay this question would be very easy but but what happens if if the clues are jumbled up this becomes difficult c1 makes no sense c2 makes no sense c3 creates a picture c4 makes no sense c5 creates another picture now c6 can be put into this picture and now c5 can be put into this picture and then c1 can be put into this picture then c4 can be put into this picture hence this picture if the clues are jumbled it's the it, the question is going to be difficult and that's the only thing you need to figure out if you figure out correct order of the clues and you understand the language bravo you got it that's the only thing you need to master 
in logical reasoning. All of these topics have their specific set of languages. You need to understand all of them. You have some specific set of language for linear, circular distribution, comparison, scheduling, binary, team selection, cubes and cuboids, Venn diagrams, number based LR. So you need to cover the basics first. You need to watch the theory from somewhere or and then practice some real basic questions to get hold of this language and the second part which is how what would be the correct order of the clue. Moving ahead, when you speak of data interpretation, again data interpretation has the same problem first. Syllabus is unknown. I give you the syllabus of data interpretation as well. The syllabus that you can follow for data interpretation, data interpretation syllabus is mainly divided into two parts. First is traditional, second is modern, logical. Okay, the, this part is traditional, DI. And the remaining six topics are modern or logical DI. Yes. So the topics which you should be covering in data interpretation is tables, bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts, maxima minima, games and tournaments, routes and networks, case lets, miscellaneous graphs, graphs those involve spiders, webs, 3D, triangular graphs, LR based DI, logical reasoning based DI. Again, these are the topics that you should take care in data interpretation. And data interpretation is more a kind of theme game. Okay, yes, it's more a kind of theme game. There are some themes in, in all of these topics, all of these topics, you should go through all of those themes. In all, in the entire data interpretation, there are roughly 25 to 30 themes. 25 to 30 themes. Like uh, this games and tournaments has four to five themes, two ten networks has three to four themes. So all of them have some themes you should solve a question at least one question on each of the themes to get hold of that theme di may the question is generally repetitive okay once you are once you are practiced nicely enough you will figure out that the question and the themes they are repeating themselves you can all you cannot always create a new question in di that's the fact all of us should accept finally last but not the least the broad approach for entire DLR should be, you should be covering the basics topic wise. That should be the first phase of your preparation. Ideally should take two months. Ideally should take two months. When I say cover basics, I strictly mean the topics that I have mentioned previously in this video. Once you are done with the entire basics in two months, you need to solve 300 plus exam level sets. Yes, exam level sets. Again, the time frame for this phase is again two months. And last but not the least, mocks. You cannot imagine CAT without attempting numerous number of mocks. I recommend 30 plus mocks. You cannot imagine ki you just covered the basics and solved some number of sets and attempted to CAT examination. It's a crime, heinous crime. Attempt 30 plus mocks. This will give you a fair idea uh, how to manage the entire sets in uh, a limited amount of time. You need to attempt 30 plus mocks. Even if you are very good in basics, even if you are very good in sets, solving sets, but if you have not attempted mocks, you will not perform well in examination. You need to attempt 30 plus mocks.